El Paso Locomotive FC stamping their preseason passport. ABC 7's Nate Ryan was with the team today as they crossed the border for an international friendly. Regresamos por Juarez in what's becoming one of the coolest annual sports traditions here on the border. El Paso Locomotive FC playing their closest road match of the season here today at Estadio Olimpico, but it's still going down as an international work day. That's because for Coach Mark Lowry and his players, the trip was by foot on the Paso del Norte Bridge. Yeah, it's just an away game, but it took us, what, six, seven minutes to get here today, so... Amid the rush of a foreign intersection, a sports team in full uniform. There's nothing like it in world football, I don't think. I mean, I know there's borders on countries, but I'm not sure you have this type of environment where there's two professional clubs right next door to each other, and you can walk across the border. And, and it helps that both teams are owned by the same sports group, taking the term friendly to a new level for both sides. And it helps that the teams are owned by the same sports group, taking the term friendly to a new level for both sides que es como un clásico acá, eh, creo que nosotros lo tomamos bastante bien y, y sobre todo queremos ganar en todo. Now FC Juarez held serve at home with a 2-1 victory this round, but when these teams meet, it's the meeting itself that's the biggest win to take home. Beautiful football against great friends um, in another country. I mean, what a story that is. And three hours later, Locomotive FC are home in time for dinner. Reportando en México, Nate Ryan, ABC7. Nate and uh, Lowry looking a little doppelganger-ish there.